Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love and laughter. Virgo, let's look at this reading. My goodness, look at this. We have the up. Uh, the um, energy coming into the reading, the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. Your person sees you as Tiki Torches, Starry Nights, passionate, exciting, a very much uh, attuned to career, how you're operating out in life, very successful. They love the passion between the two of you. You have three fiery energies here all of which are Aries energies. So your person really is fired up about the relationship. They feel as though you are their excitement. You bring liveliness, passion, fun, enjoyment. You make them feel alive. When we look at what spirit messages are coming in, we have the fool's embrace is a transmutation of pain. So your person clearly is coming in with a history, like many of us, you know, of not having had a perfect life. And when they're with you, it just transmutes the, the pain or the burdens that they feel in life. Adaptability, you're super adaptable with them. You're, you know, you're really very fluid, very flexible. They feel as though they can have a new beginning with you. And they feel like your relationship sort of regenerates over and over again, even when there's conflict. And there's always conflict in a real relationship. Uh, you know, it's just the nature of human beings. And so when there's conflict, they always feel as though the two of you can work your way through the conflict. Uh, that absolute adaptability. The moon maiden is new beginnings. So they feel that you're in a very sweet place with them. They're in a very sweet place with you. When we look at their thoughts currently, they feel as though right now, Virgo, that they don't think that you're bored with them. They don't think that you're not accepting or giving love. They see you as really off on a crusade to have career success with the world card and with the nine of pentacles we see this energy that your person just simply feels as though you don't have time right now five of swords they feel sometimes as though they worry that sometimes you might be playing games but for the most part they just feel like you're really really quote unquote hellbent on uh, taking care of yourself, getting to the next level in some sort of creative endeavor, which is all also all this fiery energy. The Five of Swords says that there's, there's an undercurrent of tension right now in terms of what they think. They think you're not happy about something. They're not quite sure what it is, though. In terms of how they feel in their heart space, they love you, period, the end, they love you, okay? We have the energy of the King of Cups, Cups are always love, the Knight of Cups. They have this energy that they need to travel from here as being the Knight, what they offer you currently in their heart space, and it's been growing over a long period of time. But the judgment card says that they probably need to release some other commitment, whether it be a marriage, a person, a job, or anything that, but it's a legacy issue with them. This is, you know, whatever they've been working on that makes them sort of hellbent on their career, the judgment card is making you feel as though you might be able to, you know, at this time, you simply might not be able to work on the relationship. The Nine of Swords says that your person's all up in their head right now, also Gemini energy. So when we look at the energies of the cards, we see Cancer, we see Saturn, we see Virgo, excuse me, we see um, Cap Capricorn energy, Saturn, and we also see Pisces. We see Virgo, so there you are in your reading, Virgo. We see Scorpio. We see the Five of Swords here twice, though. That's Aquarius energy. Um, we also see the Ace of Pentacles, an offer coming in. The Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, um, but that is air sign energy. And we also have the Hierophant, so there's Taurus energy. We also get Scorpio energy, and we get Earth sign energy. So overall here in this reading in terms of their heart space is they want to release something. They're all in their head about what keeps them single. 
they want to move on to this higher level of love with you, commitment, happily ever after in their heart space. They want that with you. They feel as they are hiding their emotions, and that is clarified by the Emperor card. So your person feels as though they have to take action. They have to, they have to be a leader in the relationship. Right now, they're so caught up in their head, they're not sure how to go from Lance Romance into this more stable energy. Again, they feel like they have to give up a relationship. And that is a marriage card, straight up it really is. And the judgment card is usually releasing a marriage, releasing an old bond or old feelings about some other partner. A lot of times I see that sometimes when people get divorced, they have a lot of responsibilities with children and it's shared and so that could be they might feel that that gets in the way but overall they feel like they have to release a connection from the past either metaphorically psychologically realistically as in real time we look at their intentions the five of swords and the five of swords their thoughts and their intentions are that they feel like something is going on that feels very painful to them. We will clarify a couple of cards here as we go forward. They feel as though they're they're giving as much as they can to the relationship. That is their intention to do it. The Ace of Coins, they want to give more. They have clarity that you, they want happily ever after with you. And we can see this is another sort of happily ever after card, as is this. You know, the Ten of Coins and the Three of Wands. Your person absolutely, you know, intends to have this relationship in which they share more emotion with you. I think that they've held back from you a lot, Virgo. I think that currently your person really is, you know, they're just in this energy of, you know what, I have clarity until you show me more, Virgo. I'm not really sure that I'm going to show you. She sort of has her, the clarity is coming in here. She's, um, when we look at her face, it's almost like, I've been hurt, this five of swords and five of swords is painful, and um, so your person really wants us happily ever after with you, but they're really feeling like there's, there's real issues here, sort of unspoken issues. When we look at the energy of their actions, we see someone, again, we get Hierophant, uh, regret, remorse, it may be over a marriage, about being married, it could be you know, having regret and remorse because of a marriage. But what I see here is a two of swords. Your person is not even, I see them just focusing on work, the Capricorn queen, the ace of coins, the focus is on work because they just don't know what to do. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to think about this broken heart that they have. The five of cups is them feeling as though, you know, they're, they're, they've lost hope. It's hopeless, but you know, that's an illusion because there's always two cups standing, right? The two cups here have not spilled over. So it is a person who is feeling very much like they're caught between a rock and a hard place with you. I see somebody who loves you very, very much, Virgo. Somebody who, but who's not willing to relinquish their own stability or to really do anything. And there's nothing wrong with that. And honestly, Virgo, you don't think there is. I mean, you obviously do not think that. What we get here, though, for the, before we clarify, you know, the outcome energy is really quite lovely. It is that this is a wild rose fairy kind of a love. Your person just thinks you're absolutely exquisite. You know, it's not very often that we think of a person as being sort of the the trip to Hawaii, the tiki torches, the starry nights. They just love you in an incredible way, very deeply. They feel as though there is a magic in the relationship. They also feel that when they're with you, they're in a refuge, a safe place. They feel very strongly that you're very safe for them, that, you know, you're not going to ever really uh, say or do anything that's going to actively hurt them. They feel like you're a very stable influence in their life. They know what to expect with you. But let's look at these cards and see what this Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Judgment, King of Swords, and Five of Cups is about. So why do we have the Five of Swords and we have it? Yeah, we have it. There we go. Hierophant. Okay. So I really do think that this may not be a third party situation in the classic sense that your person would be happily married. I don't think they are. 
but you know one or two, one or both of you are in a situation that you just feel like there's no good answer the five of swords is when you lose you know it's it's this feeling of losing at marriage and we get the emperor reversed your person feels as though they're a bit helpless here to take a leadership role in the situation aries energy again so what is it about when when they think of you why do they think that this is so unfair why do they think it's so unfair wow five of swords clarifying the five of swords again wow and we have the hanged man they just feel like they can't really do anything to resolve the issue because we have a marriage card you know we have marriage cards and we have a lover's card so i would just say that they feel like they're between when they think of you they feel like they're between a rock and a hard place why are they all up in their head about the Knight of Cups energy? The Knights come and go. You know, they're not really there to stay. They want to make this really nice offer to you. Uh, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Two of Coins reverse. They feel as though they can't even, they just feel like they're in fail mode. They can't juggle all the responsibilities. And, and therefore, they're not giving you that sort of romantic energy that they feel in their heart space. We also get cards that fell out of the deck. You know me. I always like to look at it. You may know this person through work. This is a person who really wants to spend time with you. They want a victory with you. Virgo, here we have you are in the reading twice here. here your, here's your energy, Virgo energy, Virgo energy. And we see that they just feel as though you know, you're very much alone and you might even be happy alone. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. They know that you love them. They love you. There's no doubt that love is not anything uh, to, to, to think less than. I mean, this person loves you with all their heart. You know, it's uh, the energy of happily ever after, loving for the purpose of pure loving. There's just something very tender about this relationship. It brings joy. It brings laughter. It brings a sense of life is worth living when they're with you. A life is just so much better. What is it that they have to release here? What is this that they have to release? The Wheel of Fortune. They have to release waiting for the time to be right. The time is not going to be right. The Four of Swords says that they're trying to heal something. They're trying to make something better. But they seem to think that they can just wait till the time is right. We get the world card. We get that twice. So they want to let something go over, over. Yeah, the, the cards are very clear. You know, when you get the judgment card and the world card twice, um, your person is waiting for the right time. But, you know, there is not really going to be a right time, proverbial right time to release this. Tell us about the Ten of Coins. Is that you or someone else, Virgo? Does that represent you or someone else? Nope, it's a tie to someone else. So to clarify, most of you will be very aware of this person uh, that they seem to have a connection to that's very toxic, that, you know, they could be living with this person, they could have children with this person, but or they could be married to them. We see the Six of Wands. They just want a victory. They want out. They want to have a victory in their life. Why do we have the King of Swords energy here? Why is this person feeling all aloof? The Three of Wands. Well, okay, that's a big one. Okay, so we get two aces here. They they intend to make an offer. They intend to be very clear that they love you. They know that even when they divorce themselves from their emotions, they know when they think, when they make a head over heart decision, you're still their person. You are that person. They've never had anybody like you before, Virgo. This is a once in a lifetime is how they feel. They feel like you are the definitive person person for them mother of cups they have a great deal of love for you and they intend to share that i think until now they really haven't shared that when i get the nine of swords why are they so all up in their head about this hierophant energy the ace of wands they want to take action so now we have the ace of coins the ace of swords the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles you have all four aces on the board for go so we get the fool card, you know, your person wants to release remorse, regret. They just want to have a new beginning. They, you know, they really want for the toxicity or the inability to spend time with you. They want it to be over. 
we also get another card that fell on the floor here. Hold on. Ah, the Eight of Swords. They want, right now their actions are that they're not taking action. They're sort of frozen here. However, they, they feel as though, you know, this might be hopeless. But we see them making this offer. Ten of Wands, they release the burden. Okay, so there we go. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Coins, the World card twice, So you're, and the Judgment card. So your person's ready to release. Your person is really ready to release everything that has uh, that they've held back about. Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. We've had that twice. So we see your person wanting to get out of this toxic energy. We see them wanting to marry you. To, at least, to build a foundation, 1111, Twin Flame, buying a home together, building a foundation for your relationship. But that's what I have for you, Virgo. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.